And welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now answering question number three from the January 2024 International A Level S1 Statistics S1 paper from Pearson's at Excel. Uh, here we have a question about probability. It says, In a sixth form college, each student in year 12 and year 13 is either left handed or right handed. The partially completed tree diagram where P is a probability gives information about these students. Okay, complete the T diagram in terms of P where necessary. Okay, so if this is a probability here of uh, the year 12 student being, or, or a student being in year 12, then the probability of them being not in year 12, in year 13 is going to be 1 minus P. Why? Because it's a six, it's, it's a six form college and every student is either in year 12 or year 13. So if they're not in year 12, then they'll be in year 13. So the probability of them being in year 12 is P. Therefore, the probability of them being in year 13 is 1 minus P. Okay, and if the probability of them being left-handed is 1 over 8, the probability of them being right-handed is 7 over 8. And if the probability of them in year 13, students being left-handed is 1 over 10, the probability of them being right-handed is 9 out of 10. So there is a tree diagram completed in terms of P where necessary. Then it says the probability that a student is left-handed is 0 0.11. Find the value of P. So let's have a look at these outcomes. Here we have somebody in year 12 who is right-handed and someone here in year 12 who is left-handed. Here is somebody who is in year 12, 13 and he's right-handed and here in year 13 and he's left-handed or he or she or whatever. Okay. So we want to find the probability that a student is left, or they told us the probability that a student is left-handed is 0 0.11. So the probability that a student is left-handed is 0 0.11. Now what we know is that the probability that a student is left-handed is going to be given by uh, basically um, this times this. Okay, so it's going to be the probability of him being in grade 12 and left-handed plus the other outcome him being grade 13 and left-handed so we can use this we can say okay 0 0.11 is the probability of him being left-handed that's equal to 12 and left-handed 12 and left-handed is going to be p times 1 over 8 to find the probability of this you multiply the separate probabilities of the branches of p times 1 over 8 is going to be that probability there so that's going to be P times 1 over 8 plus we're going to have 1 minus P times 1 over 10. So you're going to have 1 minus P times 1 over 10. Okay, so that will give us um, the probability of 13 and left-handed. So it's going to be basically 1 over 10 times 1 minus P. Solving this equation for P will help us sort out the problem. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 80. Okay, to get rid of the fraction. So 0 0.11 times, um, in fact, 40 times 40. That's probably more sensible. That'll give me 22 over 5. Okay, maybe 80 would have been better. And we can get rid of the fraction there as well. No, it doesn't. Okay, so let's just keep it to 40 to make the numbers smaller. Okay, so that gives me 22 over 5. I'll write as a decimal 4.4. That's 4.4 equals, so if I multiplied by 40, this is going to be 40 times 4p, that's going to be 40 times 4p over 8. 40 times, 40 divided by 8 is 5. That's going to be 5p plus, if I multiply this by 40, I'm going to have 4. So it'll be 4 minus 4p. Okay, so I've multiplied everything by 40. So that Multiplying this by 40 will give you 4. Then you have 4 times 1 and 4 times uh, minus P. So now we end up with 4.4 minus 4 equals 5P minus 4P, which is P. So therefore, P is going to be 4.4 minus 4, which is 0 0.4. Okay, so you have 4.4 minus 4, which is 0 0.4. So we know that this here is 0 0.4, which is 2 fifths. This is two-fifths, therefore this must be three-fifths, okay? So those are the probabilities now of those two branches, okay? Um, of them being year 12 and year 13. 
Then it says, find the probability that a student selected at random is in year 12 and left-handed. So they're in year 12 and left-handed. It's going to be 2 fifth times 1 over 8. Okay, so the probability that someone is in year 12 and left-handed is going to be the probability of being in year 12, which is 2 fifths, times the probability of them being left-handed, which is 1 over 8. Okay. That's going to give you, that cancel that, it's going to be 1 over 20. Okay, so the probability of someone being year 12 and left-handed is equal to 1 over 20. So there's the answer to part C. Then it says, given that a student is right-handed, find the probability that the student is in year 12. So given that they're right-handed. So now our sample space becomes only the students that are right-handed. So we're only interested in the students that are right-handed we're not considering any other students that that's our sample space okay so that's our denominator all right so that will be our denominator so it says um basically what we've got here is we've got to find the probability that a student is in year 12 given that they're right-handed so our sample space is now so this is going to be um given that they're right-handed so the the problem the probability that they're right-handed is our sample space. That's our denominator. And our numerator is the probability that they're in grade 12 and also right-handed. Okay, the probability that they're in grade 12 and right-handed, which is intersection between uh, grade 12 and right-handed. So if we look at that, um, grade 12 and right-handed is going to be the, it's basically the, these two multiplied. Okay, so it's going to be uh, 2 fifth times 7 over 8. That's going to be this numerator. 2 fifths times 7 over 8. Okay. Um, that's grade 12 and right handed. Okay. Over the probability they are right handed. So that's over the total probability of them being right handed, which is basically the sum of these two. So it's going to be 2 fifths times 7 over 8. So you have 2 fifths times 7 over 8 plus you're going to have also um, this is also then being right-handed which is going to be 3 fifths times 9 over 10. Okay 3 fifths times 9 over 10. So we're looking at the total uh, the all the right-handed students that's our sample space we want to find that the probability that in the grade 12 and right-handed out of those this will give you your answer. So let's just stick this in the calculator. So you have 2 fifths times 7 over 8 divided by the same thing, two-fifths times seven um, over eight. Okay, but then added to that is three-fifths, okay, times nine over 10. Okay, that gives you the total probability, which is 35 over 89, 35 over 89, and there is the answer that the probability a student is um, in year 12 given that they are right-handed. Okay, so it's the, the, the intersection between 12 and right-handed, which is this, divided by the probability of someone having uh, being right-handed. So that's the end of this question. That's right, that's the end of this question, part th question three. Um, a pretty simple, really short probability question. Okay, um, as I mentioned, this paper is a long paper. There's eight questions, so that's why some of the questions are a bit short. So anyway, um, that concludes this question. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that will appear on the top of the screens over here at the end of this video. Other questions from the topic of probability can be found in the playlist over here. Specifically, probability trees, I'll put a playlist for that here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.